I can't. I'm trying to make a video on uh, prong collars, and he thinks he's going for a walk. They both do. They're all like, they're both excited because they think they see me get these, and they automatically look at his tail wagging because he thinks it means we're going out. But no, that's not what's happening. What I want to do is I want to talk to you about this. And um, I noticed a lot of comments on my last post. And I don't want to be controversial. And I don't want to trigger people or upset people. But I decided to make a video about the prong collar for a reason. And I'm going to kind of put one on my neck here. And I'm going to show you the smaller one that I have for my little guy here. Bear with me. And there's a reason. I wish they would call these the communication collar because that's really what it is. There's an old saying that goes, <laughs> he thinks we're going for a, a W, so he's, he's all excited, he's jumping on me. There's an old saying that goes, don't judge a book by its cover. And the reason I wanted to make this video in this group, Taz, he's still young, he's going to be two tomorrow. Um, because I believe that this could save a lot of relationships. It could save a lot of dogs, especially bulldogs, from going down to the pound, um, being rehomed, because of simple things like the misunderstanding about this. So, it looks nasty, it looks mean, and it's not. See, we, we tend to relate everything to us being human. This looks barbaric to us as humans, but I want to point something out. I don't know if you can see these. These are rounded off, okay? They're not sharp. The other thing I want to point out is the engineering behind this is ingenious, meaning it cannot close. Now, it looks nasty. That's the only thing, but in reality, it is one of the best items for your dog. Now, I'm going to snap that on. Somebody said, I'd like to see you put it on yourself and use it. So I'm going to show you something. I just got to turn it around here. What this does, okay, and I'm going to pull it. I'm going to give it a good tug, okay? Don't even, I mean, you feel it, but I'm not a dog, number one. Number two, it's not as painful as you think. And number three, the way this is designed, it cannot actually close I don't know if you can see this. The way it's actually designed, it prevents it from fully choking or closing off on the dog. This is not a punishment tool. This is not a corporal punishment. This is not a make the dog feel pain so it responds tool. That's the biggest misconception. What this is is a communication tool. And I like to use an example of, let's say you're in a foreign country and you're dying of thirst. You just want water. And you go into restaurants and you're trying to communicate that you're just thirsty. You just want a glass of water, but nobody speaks English. They don't understand you. You go to three or four different restaurants and all of a sudden you find somebody who understands English and they understand what you want and they're able to get you that water. Well, chances are now that you've met that person that speaks English in this country where you're confused because you don't speak the language, Chances are you're going to strike up a conversation with that person and maybe even a friendship. And if you're new to that area, you probably will go in and visit that person often just because they speak your language. That's what this does. And that's why I, I'm, you know, I'm 51 years old. I've been doing this for 30 years with dogs. And I swear by these. Not because of anything, not because they cause pain, because they communicate with the dog. And I'm going to explain exactly how. This simulates the mother bite. So you have to take yourself out of your human way of thinking and understand how dogs communicate with each other, whether they're wolves, coyotes, foxes, it doesn't matter, the canine species. They don't speak a language, so they communicate in other ways. There's scents, there's body language, um, there's a little bit of howling with wolves, you know, and that. But communication is one thing. If let's say the puppy is drinking off the mom and he bites too hard or whatever and the mom wants to let him know, like, you know, or he's being a little too rambunctious or he's 
maybe leaving the, the den a little bit early, the mom will bite down on the back of the neck, pick them up, and move them. Now, this doesn't hurt them. And when you think about a bulldog, their neck is thick. They don't feel pain like we feel. So this is not a pain-inducing tool. This is a communication tool. This is a, hey, I'm mom, and I'm getting your attention. I hope I'm making sense because I really think this could save a lot of bulldogs. A lot of dogs, period, if people actually understood what these were and how to use them. Especially new people. And bulldogs, we know they're a stubborn breed. Like, you really, you know, you, you gotta, and it's not about being tough or being dominant. Well, it is about being dominant, but not in, a, in an aggressive, mean, angry way. It's about communicating with your dog. And when you use this, what happens is you're speaking their language. And it's like going into that restaurant and getting that water and somebody actually understanding what you want. This is far from cool, cruel. In fact, this might actually be one of the best, most humane things you can do for a dog. And I know a lot of people are going to disagree unless you understand the logic behind it. When you use this, all of a sudden your dog realizes you're talking to it. You're communicating with him. He's still looking at me. Now, do you think he's afraid of this? No, he's excited. He wants, like, there's no fear of this. And I use it on both of my dogs. Because he knows what this means, right? He knows it means a W-A-L-K. Like, he's right here. He wants it on, if I can show you. He literally is like, wants me to put this on him. Because he thinks we're going out. Now, if that caused pain, do you think he would be like this? Do you think he'd be sitting here looking at me like, are you going to put that on me, Dad? <laughs> See, he's jumping up. Because he wants it. When used correctly... And when you use it correctly, it's not pulling and choking the dog. It's a snap. It simulates the mother correcting. It's a corrective bite that the mother will give. It makes the dog relate to you. It makes the dog understand that you're talking to it. And you're opening a line of communication. And the best thing, now imagine what it would feel like if you're in that place where nobody speaks your language and all of a sudden you realize you can communicate with that person. Think about it that way. Now what ends up happening is, now that you've established a line of communication, not punishment, not pain, like I said, these are rounded off tips, okay, and these are not, the way it's designed, it, it, it literally cannot choke you, okay. Now do I feel that? Of course I feel that, I mean it's not comfortable, but then again, I'm not a bulldog. Bulldogs have thick necks, most dogs do, they don't feel it like you do, they don't feel it like I do. But if you learn to use one of these properly and look at it as a communication collar, not a prong collar, it's, it's going to move so much quicker. Your relationship with your dog is going to develop so much quicker. Your dog is going to, especially if you're getting older like I am, you don't want a bulldog pulling on a leash. And this teaches them not to pull. And it's not a, you know, yank them. It's just a quick snap like, hey, mom's corrected bite. They literally will look at you like, okay. What do you want? And now they know you're talking to them now. Hopefully I'm making sense. I don't want to trigger people. I'm not trying to be controversial. I honestly believe that this is a great tool. Now, somebody said the harness is the way to go. Look, the harness was invented because people can't get their heads around this. That's the only reason that harnesses are invented and the, the choker chain, which was a much less, you know, version of this. It's because people think this is cruel. And it's not. I, please, trust me on this. Think like a dog. Understand, this is what the mother would do when they're puppies. The mother would, on the back of the neck, it's not a painful thing. It's a, just get their attention. It's a communication thing. Hopefully, I'm making sense, guys. Like I said, the reason I made this video, I don't want to upset people. I'm not trying to be controversial or anything. I honestly believe that when people start to understand how to use these, what they're for, and why they're actually better for your dog, then it would save so many dogs from going to dog rescues, bulldog rescues, down to the SPCA, and save a lot of them from being put down. That's the reason why I'm doing this. It is the quickest, most effective way to develop that connection with your dog, get their attention, and then training becomes so much easier once that dog understands that you're talking to it. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. Thanks, and I appreciate you, fam.